Hi Libra, thank you for joining me for your February general read. Please remember that it is general, so it cannot resonate for everyone, and that includes cross watchers. Please switch the energies around if it applies, but never try and force a timeline to fit. If it's not your story this time, then it's okay to just leave it be. The best way to view tarot, as I always say, is without expectations. So you take the parts that are resonating for you and you leave the bits that don't. Because it's a general read, you'll find that the bits that are not resonating for you are actually part of someone else's timeline. Okay, this month's giveaway is for the Rebel deck. Everyone who has subscribed to my channel is automatically put in for the draw and for all future draws. The winners are announced on my YouTube community page, so please do claim your prize within a month. It might be beneficial for you to click on the notification bell as well, so that you'll be alerted to my updates. My private reads are not yet available. I am working really, really hard on getting these rolled out, and I'll also announce when these become available on my YouTube community page. Okay, so Libra. As always, I have pre-shuffled through all of the cards, but I fully appreciate that some viewers like to see just a little card shuffle on camera as well. So, right, Libra for February. Libra. Okay, uh, Broken Heart, Magician in the Mirror, and your fifth chakra. Right. Okay, so <clears throat> Libra, straight away, um, your cards are indicating the, um, the importance of communicating um, what has led you to this heartbreak. Um, because your Archangel Gabriel card is all about communicating as well. So some of you are keeping your loss and your heartache, um, you're keeping it to yourselves at the moment. Um, I'm going to get you more information on this Broken Heart card uh, because I feel that it's important to give you as much information as possible. Okay, so Broken Heart pertains to grief and loss. This card shows a heart broken open, revealing darkness, emptiness and a grief-filled tear. The hurt may be from a long time ago, or it may be the pain from a more recent event. Either way, a deep healing is called for now. Vent your feelings and release the person or situation involved. Affirm that you are reclaiming your power and peace of mind. Open your heart to the light of divine love and healing and have compassion for yourself throughout this difficult process. Make self-care a priority now. As you let go of old experiences, you can open your heart to the true and abiding love that you so rightly deserve. And with it sitting, uh, you've got the magician in the mirror that's sitting in between these two cards, um, one all about heartbreak and communicating and healing through your heartbreak, and then the other that's all about um, communication, again, uh, self-expression and speaking your truth. So with the magician being in between these two, it's it's all about taking back your power, not giving your power away to whoever or whatever has put you in this state. Um, communicating your wishes. There's something else here as well. Um, um, 
the month of February, you're going to find that uh, your ability to manifest the things that you want really do come into play. Um, so the, the warning that comes with this card is being aware of manifesting negativity. So you have to heal. You, you can't skip through this stage. Uh, you have to work through those emotions and then you can start manifesting because if you try to make things happen while you're still broken hearted, you're going to find that what you're manifesting isn't beneficial to you. That's literally what your oracle spread is telling us. Okay, I'll see if I can get more information on your tarot. It's quite a heavy start already, Libra. Right. Libra for February, please. Again, the energies are interchangeable. So if you know for a fact, Libra, that this is not your energy, then it could well be the energy of someone else that you're dealing with. Um, it could easily be someone needs to communicate with you that they are heartbroken over you and that they're the ones that are, are trying to uh, heal through. Okay, so it's, it's all interchangeable, Libra. Okay, we have the Hermit, it's Virgo. Oh. There's seven of coins, it's Earth. Wow, your cards are jumping. You have the Queen of Swords. Libra, please. Fool. February. We have the Six of Cups. Um, the Six of, sorry, the Six of Cups is Sun in Scorpio. Libra, please. The Ace of Swords. Libra, please. February. Yeah, Death card, uh, Major Arcana for Scorpio. Just check, you can see those. Okay. Libra, please. Ah. Clear masters, please, for Libra. Ace of coins. Star, Aquarius energy. Guidance, please, Libra. Guidance. The Hierophant is Taurus energy. Okay, we've got quite quite a lot of major arcana out already. Um so this is big life changes here then, Libra. Yep, the magician. Knight of Coins, Page of Wands, and the energy at the bottom of the deck, Six of Wands. Hidden under that is Ten of Cups, and Seven of Wands. Okay, um, some of you over the month of February will be re- sorry, reprioritizing your uh, responsibilities. There's also, you might find that there'll be a need for you to remain grounded um, and to not become distracted with the little things. There's something here much bigger going on 
Um, it does pertain to a family situation and your ultimate happiness. The energy at the bottom of the deck is six of one, so you're very much focused on your victory, your success, um, some kind of celebration. Now, for some of you, not all of you, in the month of February, there is going to be some kind of family gathering um, that is going to prove very... Um, it's it, There's a happy event here. They're showing me... Um, there's going to be an individual at this family event that is someone... There's someone there from your childhood and something new is going to be reignited. There's, there's a reigniting here of something with someone from your childhood. That is for a very small handful of you, not all of you. Um, there's some kind of christening or uh, a child's birthday or something surrounding young energy. Okay, I'll, I'll leave that at that. Right. Um, the energy central to you read, Six of Cups. The card of nostalgia. Um, card of childhood. Happy memories. Someone from your past or someone from a past life. The Six of Cups is soulmate energy. Um, it can also indicate that there is a significant age difference here as well between two individuals concerned. Um, so either you or someone that you're dealing with, Libra, is feeling very, very nostalgic. And I'm actually feeling that this is somebody that you're dealing with rather than your energy. Um, this person, for some of you, it's an earth sign for sure and for others of you it's a water sign it is someone from your past and they're kind of they're looking back on the past with a little bit of uh, rose tinted glasses they're focused on the happier times now this is someone that you were either married to or it's someone that wanted to marry you. With the presence here of the Hierophant card and the Magician being right next to it, somebody is trying to reignite a commitment that they had with you, okay? Um, the Hermit, uh, I'm, I'm feeling the top row is your energy, Libra. Um, in February, you might find that you will be introspecting and also be aware of gossip around you as well. Whenever I see a lot of birds in cards, um, if it's a small number of birds, for me as a reader, it pertains to happy messages coming through. Um, if there's a lot of birds in a single card, it pertains to gossip and news that you could have done without hearing. Um, I will be honest. So there's some news that you're going to receive, Libra, that will... You'll feel the rug being pulled from you a little bit, I'm afraid to say. Um, it's... It's not the news that you particularly wanted to hear right now because you've already got so much going on anyway. It was kind of, it feels like one more burden added to your list, basically. Um, I'm just going to take a break a second because the cat, he's not very quiet about using his toilet. So I'm just going to pause for a second. Okay, sorry about that, Libra. Um, so, 
I can't remember where I was. Um, yeah, you're going to feel like the rug has been pulled a little bit um, because you've got other things going on. This is someone that you had put a lot of time and energy into. You did a lot for this individual in the past. Um, with the Queen of Swords energy, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I, I really don't like doing the X returns storylines um, because an X is an X for a reason. It kind of depresses me a little bit when these timelines come up, um, but they, they're coming up for a reason and this particular individual is coming back for a reason. Um, so it's for, for you to use your own intuition if this timeline is yours um, or whatnot. So the Queen of Swords, you'll find yourself in an energy where you have to make, you have to put into place your firm boundaries and you have to maintain your firm boundaries as well. Um, because the Queen of Swords doesn't take any crap from anyone, but she's not spiteful about it. Uh, male or female doesn't matter, cards in it's, it's not gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us. Um, it's literally just, you will be maintaining your boundaries with this individual. Um, and it's done in a firm but fair way as well with the Queen of Swords, because I mean, the Queen of Swords, they're not a bitch. They, they just protect themselves and their own. And th there's firm boundaries this individual is very um i'm picking up on earth with water in their chart um because they they're, they're very cautious about approaching you as well they're fully aware that you don't take any crap um Regardless, they're still looking back on the past. And the fool here is looking at the past, which tells me as a reader that this individual wants to revisit the past with you, Libra. So please make of it what you will. Um, obviously, I have to keep my own opinions out of it. It, it's for you to decide when this comes in and your current energies are pointing towards it is coming in. Uh, I'm afraid to say for those of you who don't want to hear it, I am sorry. I can't control what comes out of the cards. I just have to go with what comes out. Um, there is communication here with the Ace of Swords and it's truthful communication also. Something about this individual has changed. Um, now, whether or not they have been put in a situation with another individual and that connection has made them realise what it actually was that they had with you or whether or not they, they, they've just done a lot of inner work on themselves because the death card is all about change, metamorphosis, and also I'm picking up heavily. Um, again, that makes me suspicious that this is a heavy earth person because they don't like change. Um, for some of you, you could be dealing with a Taurus because there's that really fixed vibe here. Um, and they're also very fixated on the past the sheer determination for them to have a brand new journey with you, but they want it how it was. I don't know what it is I'm reading, guys. You're going to have to let me know if this resonates for you or not. Um, there is a fixed sign here you are dealing with someone who is either very, very stubborn and very fixed in their way, or you're dealing with a fixed sign. 
Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. Or indeed, you could have this somewhere in your chart um, because, again, it's up to the viewer to decide what side of the table that they're sitting on for the energies that are in the cards. Um, it's it's going to be a, a bit of a difficult month for you, Libra. I, I can't I can't sugarcoat it. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, now, for some of you, not all of you, this is actually going to be really happy news because this is something that uh, or someone that you have been waiting for. Uh, you've been waiting for someone to realise um, and to come to their senses and to come back to you. So for some of you, yes, it is going to be happy news. But for others of you, it's going to be a burden. Um, and it's going to have the complete opposite effect as to what this individual was hoping for. I don't see you engaging in any arguments, though. I, I don't see it getting that far. Um, for those of you who are not happy about the past returning, um, I know I, I certainly wouldn't be, um, but that's just me. Uh, you're not going to engage in an argument with this individual, though. It's just going to be firm and fair boundaries, job done. And for those of you who do want this brand new beginning, you will be uh, accepting of it. Um, someone, you, as I say, you did a lot for this individual, a lot. You were their star. It's kind of like when you met this individual, they they were very, very lost. Um, they didn't know where they were going or what they were doing. Um, that feel of having not much of a direction in life. And when this individual met you, you, no, someone just said Northern Star. I know that sounds really, really cheesy. Guys, I have to go with what comes in. You were their shining star. You, uh, you were their home, their guiding light. Um, I'm feeling this individual, they feel like an idiot. They feel like an absolute idiot, to be completely honest. And they are desperate to get this victory and success with you, Libra. And their Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is what we're all aiming for in life. The Ten of Cups is the, the completion. It's the ultimate happy home, happy family, happy kids, happy pets, stable job. It's everything. The Ten of Cups is everything. And this individual is determined, very, very determined. I'm picking up heavy, heavy earth. It could well be an earth sun with a um, Scorpio or Aquarius Venus. Or switch it round. It could be an Aquarius sun or a Scorpio sun with an earth Venus. This is a very, very strange, strange one, um, because for some of you, you were married to this individual. For some of you. OK. In your guidance, you're being asked to There's manifestation here and the Hierophant, which is commitment. It also pertains to your religious and or spiritual side of life as well. Um, so for some of you, you could be spiritual teachers. 
So it's making that commitment to your uh, your spirituality or your teachings or the things that you've been teaching yourself, self-healing. I'm also picking up here on the heavy green, which is all about the heart chakra. It's very, very interesting. Making the commitment to what you want to manifest, to what you want from your life. There's also a warning here about um, being aware of being manipulated into doing something that someone else wants you to do under the guise of it being something that you want. So there's an element here that this individual could be able to pull on your heartstrings a wee bit. Um, that's, that's for some of you, not all of you. You're also being asked not to rush into anything here with the Knight of Coins. The Knight of Coins is slow and steady wins the race. The Knight of Coins is the slowest moving knight in the deck. And it doesn't, he, the, the Knight of Coins doesn't make any um, rash decisions. So you're being asked to take this one slow. Don't be rushed into anything. And also Page of Wands, which is looking at life with curiosity, a childlike curiosity, being fun, being playful. Um, it's that very youthful energy. So it's, there's something here in your energy where you're being asked to take a lighter approach. Very confusing read, Libra. That was a bit challenging. Right. Um, I'll see if I can get any further clarity from your oracles. Libra, please. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. That was me that dropped that one. Libra, please. Okay. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So some of you have been trying to... Um, manifest a commitment with someone or something and it hadn't it it wasn't forthcoming um as for some of you not all of you and um, i think did we see that magician yeah yeah some of you are struggling to make things happen because you're still healing through that hurt um, so your manifestations are becoming a little bit warped somewhere along the lines. Um, very strange read. Libra, please. Libra. Oh. Okay, we have let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. And then we have playfulness, and that was in your guidance, in your tarot as well. Uh, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember that love is the greatest healer. 
and that's also self-love as well. Uh, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow, you will be surprised where it leads. Now, please remember that oracle cards work in exactly the same way as the tarot. It's up to the viewer to decide what side of the table that they're sitting on for every single card that comes out. And I will be honest with you, Libra, I'm feeling that this is more for the person of the past. Um, the one that I have said straight from the get-go is desperately wanting to have you back um, because they don't like change. Um, there's issues with communication here as well. Some of you might find um, really, really random, I know. Um, some of you might find that your mobile phone starts playing up. Right. Um, cross watchers, please don't take offence at anything that comes out in the cards. It might not even be your story at all, okay? I just have to go with what comes out in the cards, all right? I don't choose what comes out. Um, right, so for those of you who are easily offended at swearing, your read has ended now. Thank you for watching. And for those of you who don't give a shit about swearing, then this is the Rebel deck. It's very blunt, straightforward and uh, quite harsh sometimes. And hopefully it makes people go away with a bit of a smile on their face as well. It just injects that little bit of lighthearted energy into your read, which I think we all need, Libra, because that that energy was heavy, heavy, heavy as anything. Libra. Right, I'll take the detox card. Drink a smoothie, unfriend that asshole and throw some shit out. We have, oh, you need a big fucking hug, squee. Step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and spirulina taste like ass. Eat some yummy shit. Bacon, chocolate, beer, get some. Whatever you're thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. Get your head out of your ass pronto. It's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some fucking time alone and you know why. You are loved. You're here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. And lightning. Figure that shit out on your own. And again, it's up to every viewer to decide what side of the table that they're sitting on for every single card that comes out, okay? So please don't go mad at your tower readers. We don't, we don't choose what comes out. Right, so thank you, Libra. Um, that is what I have for you. I'm sorry to say for those of you who don't like the extra turn storylines, I don't like them either, but there we go. Um, that is what I have for you, Libra, for February. Thank you so, so much to all of those who have liked, shared, subscribed and commented to my channel. And also a massive, massive thank you to those who have donated to my channel as well. That has helped me to upgrade the quality of my content in every way. And I appreciate every single one of you. So thank you so, so much. Please do let me know if it resonates because we don't know what it is that we're reading, okay? Uh, we, we have to just trust the cards and the messages. So um, I do read all of your comments. I might not be able to reply to them all, but I absolutely read them and appreciate every single interaction on my channel. So thank you again, Libra. Have a lovely, lovely February. Have, oh yeah, and a happy Valentine's Day as well. And we shall speak again soon. Bye.